cone is fit in the prepared canal. It's cut back a half a millimeter short of full length. A plugger of the same taper is fit in the canal, pushed and wiggled. The canal will bend the plugger to its binding point. A stop is placed so we know where that binding point is. And we're ready to cement the cone. After the cone is cemented, it's going to be seared off at the orifice. We push the high heat icon on the System B heat source. We're going to sear it off. We're going to condense the gutta percha at the orifice with the fat stainless steel end of the hand plugger. After that, we're going to bring the continuous wave plugger in cold first, push on it, hit the button. It'll immediately take off, and in a second and a half or two seconds, we'll be within two millimeters of the binding point. We hold a sustained condensation force with no heat. Then after five seconds, at least one second of separation heat, pull the plugger out. You can see the surplus gutta percha attached to the plugger. Now we take the narrow nickel titanium end of the hand plugger in and condense the apical mass of gutta perch in preparation for the backfill. Here's the motor driven inline extruder. We push the forward part of the toggle to prime the needle. Now the gutta perch is to the end of the needle. We put it in the canal, wait five seconds to heat the canal with the needle and push the back end of the toggle, which is a slower extrusion speed, letting this extruded gutta percha push the needle out of the canal to the orifice level. You can actually take the fat end of the plugger and cut off the surplus gutta perch at the orifice level, and then you're going to condense the gutta perch until it's firmly set at that point. It's a very three-dimensional fill. With the pre-fit and bent plugger fitting deeper in the root canal space, continuous wave of obturation allows us to plastically mold the gutta percha closer to the tugback point. So in that regard, it is a more ideal, more effective technique than down packing at low temperature with an unbent plugger. This is currently the state of the art in three-dimensional obturation. Because it's a cone fit technique, typically exceptional apical control of surplus filling material is possible in virtually every case if you have a good shape. And really the only challenge is to backfill with an extruder without creating a void. If you are careful to place the extruder needle in the canal and wait a full five seconds for the needle in the canal wall to reheat after it's chilled by the dentin, holding the needle in the canal with a light apical pressure so that you create the back pressure necessary to eliminate any air pockets, you should be able to do these backfills with an extruder with a very, very low incidence of backfilling void.